Hey guys, so I am back with another video for you today and I am super excited because my voice is almost finally all the way 100% back. Um, so I'm super excited about that. So I'm so excited to film this video for you today. I do also want to apologize for my last video. The lighting was really bad. I did film that video at night. So um, I didn't put my lighting equipment in here because I figured the light that I had in this room would be, be enough. But it obviously wasn't because that video was terrible. So I do apologize for that. Um, today I am filming during the day. So I have the window right in front of me and I have natural lighting. So it's a lot better. So Anyways, enough rambling. Today's video is going to be on the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palettes, and I'm also going to do a quick tutorial um, on the new semi-sweet chocolate bar palette that Too Faced came out with too. So I'm going to kind of review and compare like both of the palettes for you, um, just because I kind of want to give you my feedback and my thoughts on how I um, like the semi-sweet chocolate bar one, which is the second one they came out with. Um, I know there's tons of videos out there on this palette already and there's so many reviews and um, I know when I was watching a few of them I was kind of hesitant to buy the second one just because after seeing it and after hearing people's thoughts on it um, some of them were positive some of them were negative so I was kind of like no I don't think I want to spend the money on it but after getting my hands on it I personally love the palette so um, that is like one of my first opinions on the palette I do really like the palette so I'll go in um, to more detail on the palette um, as we go on in the video. So, first we have the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. This is the first one they came out with and um, this one is $49. And I absolutely love this palette. This palette when they came out with it was like one of my favorite go-to palettes that I absolutely loved um, when they launched it. And I couldn't get enough of it. So. Um, this is what it looks like on the inside. It has the mirror and then it also has this overlay which is something that I just cannot stand. I hate these overlays that you know different brands put in their palettes. They drive me crazy. One. Two, sometimes I just think it makes the palette look a little cheap. I like it better when the name is printed on the palette itself. Um, so yeah, this is something that I just was not crazy about. However, I keep it because I like to know the names of my colors in here. Um, and then this is the overall palette right here. So that is what it looks like. It has gorgeous, gorgeous colors in it. It has like, you know, your warm browns. It has your cool tones in here. I absolutely love it. The only thing I was not impressed about um, with this palette was the fact that it has this like really weird pink color here and I just that is a color that I just don't reach for at all like I don't think that was probably like the first time I touched it besides when I swatched it um, or this is yeah this is probably like the second time I've touched this color so I don't really feel like this color was necessary to put into this palette especially such a large amount of that color because I really never ever ever use that color so that was a little um, Thing I was a little bit disappointed about too and then also this bubblegum pink one right here just wasn't my favorite again it's a color that I don't really use it's like a Pepto-Bismol kind of pink color that's just it's really chalky and it's not my favorite color however everything else in this palette I absolutely love so um, the packaging again is great I don't know if I mentioned the price but it is $49 when I got the palette it had first came out so it is um, the thicker palette that they came out with which I really didn't like as well it was just too bulky for me I like a sleeker palette I love sleeker palettes because I, they're just so convenient to travel with and this just really isn't although I do take it with me everywhere I go I don't like the packaging of this one I wish that they kind of would have just launched it with the sleeker palette that they have now because they did revise this palette so it is a lot sleeker so if you have the um, one that they did revise, it is a lot sleeker. I like that packaging a lot better. This one, not so much. But I do overall love this palette. So now we'll go into the second one. The second one, again, is $49. They're the same price. Um, this one is more warmer in tones as far as colors go. So this is the box. I saved the box so you guys can see it. And then the packaging is a lot sleeker on this one. So you can see, like... This is the bigger one, and then this is the more sleeker one. So they did launch this palette and redo the palette and the packaging um, to look like this. So I do love the packaging on this one. I do like that it's the tin. 
Um, it's a lot lighter in color, as you can tell. And then inside, dun, 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 it does not have an overlay. This is amazing. They actually printed the names on this palette, which I, I love that. I love them for doing that because this thing right here drives me crazy. So I love the fact that they did not put that damn overlay in this palette. So <coughs> I do still have a little bit of a cough. So this is what the inside of the second one looks like and I absolutely love it. And if you guys don't know, these palettes are made with cocoa powder so they absolutely smell delicious. They smell just like chocolate. So every time you open it, you get that good like smell of chocolate. Oh, I just want to eat it. Um, so let me quickly like see if I can hold these up for you. So this is the first one on the top and then this is the second one on the bottom. So you can see um, they kind of look a little similar, but not really when you like take a really good look at them. Um, this one right here, the only reason it threw me off was because of this blue color right here. It just, it stood out to me, but it wasn't because I didn't like it. I really do like that color and when I swatched it, I really enjoyed it. It's just a really beautiful blue color that I absolutely love. It's unique. I don't think I own anything like it, so it is going to be fun to play with. Um, overall, the entire palette is just great. These ones right here, the two bigger colors, there's Butter Pecan and Coconut Cream, are almost the same concept in here. However, you can see that the ones in the first palette are a little bit bigger than the ones in the second palette. So that was a little weird to me. However, I do love the way that they put this palette together. Again, it's a little warmer in colors, which is what I love. Um, it has so many different like shades to pull from. You have your mattes, you have your shimmer shades. You also have a black eyeshadow, which is something that I absolutely love because I love when a palette puts a either a dark, deep chocolate brown or a black shadow that you can like kind of deepen the crease with. So that was really convenient for me. That is the one thing that absolutely sold me on this palette. I really love that they did that with the black shadow and it's called Licorice. Now I did hear um, a few things about this palette on how the colors were not pigmented. To me personally, I do think they're pigmented. There's, a, there's just two that I would call out right now that I would say that aren't as pigmented as I would like them to be. And that is this color right here called Pink Sugar. It's like a pink, my hands are so dirty. It's like a pink kind of like sparkly color, but the payoff of the color doesn't show up. However, the glitter comes off really like pigmented. So it's like a color that you can actually like dip your finger in and kind of lay it over like maybe a color like brown sugar and just get that really nice sparkle effect. So I can use that color. And then the other one is Coco Chili. This one again is almost like that pink sugar. It's pigmented, but it's not as pigmented as I would like it to be. So I would say those two aren't as pigmented, but everything else in this palette, I would say has great pigmentation on it, on them. So, or in them. <laughs> so um, my favorite colors I would have to say in this palette are truffled, frosting, peanut butter, pudding, mousse, caramel, and bonbon. Those are like my absolutely like just go-to colors in this palette. If you buy this palette, I don't think that you would be like disappointed in it at all. I absolutely love this palette. So what I have on my eyes right now is truffled, licorice, and mousse. And then I used coconut cream um, right underneath my brows. So that is what I did using this palette. That is just kind of my um, feedback, review, and comparison on this palette. I really do enjoy this palette. I absolutely love it. I thought I was going to be disappointed when I purchased it, but I wasn't. I am so pleased and happy with this palette right here. So I did a quick kind of like smoky eye for you. It's super easy to achieve using this palette. I do want to do um, more looks using this palette and film them for you guys. So if that's something you guys would like to see, leave it in the comments down below. But yeah, I absolutely enjoy both palettes. I have not stopped using the second one though so I haven't really picked up the first one in some time ever since I got this one but yeah I think it's a great palette um, again it's $49 it's a little pricey but I think that you will enjoy it so if you guys pick this up leave me or if you guys have it leave me your comments tell me what you think about it in the comments down below or if you do pick it up let me know what you think about it but I do love it I absolutely love it so 
I do have a quick little tutorial for you guys on this eye look right here. So if you want to see how I achieved it, then just keep watching. Bye. Okay guys, so first I'm going to be starting with the NARS Eye Primer. I always prep my eyes with a primer prior to using any types of eyeshadows onto my lids. It just makes the eyeshadows last a lot longer, but it also brings out the intensity of your shadow as well. And it prevents them from creasing, so. Next is my Too Faced Chocolate Bar Semi-Sweet Palette. I'm obsessed with this palette. I'm going in with the 217 brush, and I'm using the color Truffled. I am just using this MAC 217 brush because I really like the way that it applies this matte shadow. And just to mention quickly, these matte shadows in this palette are amazing. I am obsessed with this color in particular. It is the truffled color. It is just so creamy, so buttery, so smooth. It's amazing. I absolutely love this color. And I have been loving this look lately too with this palette. This has just been my go-to look. It's just really quick, easy, it's smoky. It's like the quickest smoky eye you can create with this palette. So again, I'm just deepening up that color, just placing it onto my eye and just really intensifying it to my liking. You can leave it as is or just keep packing on that color. Next I'm going in with again a 217 brush by MAC and I'm using the color called Mousse and I'm just placing this right into my crease. This is just going to marry that truffle color with that Mousse color and it's just gonna make everything super seamless. Both these colors are matte colors, so when working with matte colors, you really, 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 really want to keep blending. I'm going to say that continuously throughout this video, but yes, you need to blend. Just keep blending. Next, I'm going to go in with the color Truffled again, and I'm taking a Sigma E32, and I'm just packing on a little bit more of that color. If you want it you know, a lot deeper, you can go in with a brush like this and just kind of deepen that color a little bit, which is what I'm doing. Next, I'm taking that 217 brush again and just blending some more of that color right in the crease. I really want this to be blown out and really smoky, so that's why I just keep going back in and blending. Next, I'm taking a 224 brush by MAC. Again, blend, blend, blend. You want everything to be seamless. You do not want any harsh lines. Next, I'm going in with another Sigma brush, and this is the E15, and I'm going in with that color called Licorice. I personally don't like a liner on top of my lashes, so what I like to do is just place a black shadow on the top of my lash line. This just really smokes out the look a lot more. I prefer a black shadow as opposed to a liner anyways, I just love it and that's what drew me to this palette was that black color. So I really, really love doing this. Now I'm taking a 217 brush by MAC and I'm just taking a little bit more of that truffled color, not mousse, and I'm going to go in and just blend out that licorice color that we placed above our lash line and it's really just going to make it smoke out even more. I really love doing this with any kind of black shadow, just placing it above the lash line and just really smoking it out. Next I'm going in with another MAC 217 brush. This is a clean one and I'm just blending again everything together. Now I'm going in with the Sigma brush, this is the E50. I'm going in with that color called Coconut Cream and just placing this right underneath my brow bone or right underneath my brow and just again blending everything out. This is just going to tie all those colors together and really make them smooth and seamless. Now I'm going in with the Urban Decay Eyeliner Pencil in the color Perversion. I absolutely love this liner. It is amazing. It's creamy. It's nice and thick and it lasts all day long. I'm just tight lining my um, upper waterline and then I'm going in with my, I'm going in on my waterline down on the bottom. And this is just going to make this look smoked out even more. 
I really love placing a black liner and then just dipping in with some shadow and blending them all together. So I'm going in with the E15 brush by Sigma, going in again with that color called Truffle, and I'm just going to blend that down on the bottom together with that black liner that we placed on our waterline. And I'm going to take another Sigma brush, this is the E32, and I'm just smoking it out. Now it is time for mascara. And then I'm going in with the Maybelline Pumped Up Colossal Mascara. And I'm just going to be applying this to my lashes. Do you see how quick and easy this look was? Super quick, super easy, and super simple. Anybody can achieve this look. It is one of my quickest smoky eyes that I've ever done. So I'm going to be just applying this mascara, and that is it. I will be right back, guys. So that is it for this quick and easy um, smoky eye look that I did with the Too Faced palette. I hope you all enjoyed the review on this. If you want to know what I used on the rest of my face, I just used a little bit of bronzer. Um, it's the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Give Me Sun. just looks like this. And then on my cheeks for blush, I have Max Melba, which is a beautiful color. And then on my lips, I have Gerard Cosmetics in the color 1995. That's what I have on my lips. And that is pretty much it. This look was so quick, easy, and simple. So I hope you all give this a try. And if you do, leave it in the comments down below. Um, so yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video. And until next time, I will see you all soon. Bye.